Okay, I just got uh, a video about uh, David Wilcock and <laughs> Colleen Crazy, but they're um, to the observer judging could be Colleen Crazy too because there's a lot of um, information to be gained by channeling but you gotta understand all of the information that comes from channeling you're going to gain more knowledge so it'll be like wow this is really cool this makes a lot of sense you know it will seem like outstanding information to the point where you're going to be convinced that everything that's said is true and that's where it's really fucking dangerous. And that's why, you know, religion would probably warn you against it because, yeah, you got to understand there's a lie. So anybody that's involved in any kind of channeling, you're going to be getting a lie. You're going to get 90% truth, but there's going to be 10% lie because you're talking to a concept, a person, an entity that has died. And the ego doesn't leave once you're dead. The ego goes back into, you know, the 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 spirit world, you know, where you go where you're dead. Your ego goes with it. And that is um only my guess from my observation is your spirit is is in development and the only time your spirit gets to evolve is through the human experience and you know it's challenging and it's like we ain't getting it and part of our human oneness is to observe each other's experiences to see what's going on so sometimes when some person you know dies fails at their test because the test is to not die. If, if that's the golden rule is, is that every soul needs to know, needs to mature to the point where it knows how not to die and ascend through the body because the body is like the caterpillar that needs to be transformed into the moth. So you, you kind of need this container because it's your vessel to get there. <laughs> so, you know, listening to this David Wilcock, if you look at the lie, if you see where the lie is, and know that, you know, there's a lot of cool information, then you can see where the contradiction is. And it, it may seem really wild, because while David uh, Wilcock is doing some channeling, which has been proven, it's scientifically proven now, that um, when the body is stressed to its max, that's why anybody who is channeling is uh, in fact extremely stressed. And for the most part, it is through a great deal of abuse. Now, um, you will see, you know, like maybe D David Wolcock isn't dealing with severe abuse, but he is putting his own abuse on himself because he's claiming to be, um, you know, this psychic, this, you know, he, he's making so many claims that he's putting pressure on himself to be right, that he will gain so much hate at him for being wrong, that he's motivated to be right, and that pain will guide him, you know, like, it, it all depends on how he's judging himself of how important it is for him to be right, if he's got the motivation to save all of humanity, if that's like his God, that is the sole purpose, you know, it will be painful. It, the the wor it'll be torture for him to get it wrong. So that torture, you know, if he's not getting it right and he's still focusing and focusing, he will create another identity to come in and uh, channel information. So uh, I. 
you know, when you see some of these channelers, you know, Rampa and uh, um, that other one that wrote The Secret, I forgot their names, but you can see the contradiction in, in what it is that they're saying. And it, it's pretty much, you got to understand the Jesus thing, you know, the no dying, the ascending thing. You know, so when a spirit, when somebody from our past wants to come back and give us knowledge, they're going to give us the knowledge of all of the information that we don't know right now, which is like, seems really amazing, um, but it's not. It's like they just dealt with an awful lot of challenges, and just before death, they kind of seen the bigger picture, so they kind of see a little more than you do right now because you're not dead yet. You know, so they seen like the tipping point of their death or or their destruction, but they didn't see what actually made them live. You know, so they they're basing their survival off of just the information they gained prior to their death. You know, if they took it a step further of, oh, what would make me live? Um, then they would have seen a different picture and be able to share that little piece of information with us. So it's like, you know, come and channel somebody that hasn't died yet. And then maybe we're talking about some real information. But And then listening to this guy's information, he's just, you know, a bunch of crap in between, you know, the stars and, and galaxies and, you know, it, 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 most of the description that he's saying is out there, you know, that is in the spirit world, that is your imagination still. You are still seeing what you want to see. And, you know, right now, if death is our peace because we don't have the drama of the day going on, you know, it will feel peaceful. You will feel amazing. It will feel. People that meditate, that go there, think that, ah, this is where it is. Because it does feel so much more peaceful. And because it feels more peaceful, it is that short-term pain, long-term pleasure decision that you're making that in the short term, in the right now, yeah, it is really relieving. So we're going to take that, that direction. But it's like, no. You got to learn how to transform your problem into the solution. You got to learn how to transform this human body into what it's supposed to be. You know, just look at ourselves as caterpillars that are changing into butterflies, and that's the goal that's got to be made. You know, tell me how to survive. You know, survival means living. Survival means I'm uh, enjoying the living experience. You know, like the heaven on earth experience. You know. Give me information on how that is done because it's only when everybody is experiencing their version of heaven. You know, when everybody's feeling the love because of how we're able to receive and send out towards each other. I mean, when we know how to get along with each other, you know, when we grow up, you know, from being kids and stop the bickering and the fighting that you do when you're kids and we become mature adults. That's when we, we everything changes. That's when we ascend. That's when you know when they're they're saying that you are outside of your body. Yeah, you're gonna be outside of this shell because you've now let yourself free. You know, but you can't get there through death. And you know, so that one little part. You know, if David Wilcock would say, "I'm talking to a dead person." He didn't know how to live. He knew how to die. So, you know, the information is cool and all, but there is a little bit of information that's off. That uh, don't try to disconnect from your human body. Your human body is telling you where you're all fucking up. If your human body dies, you fucked up. It's just like if our planet dies, then we fuck up. It, you know, like... Does anybody else not just see that, or is it just me? You know, check out his video. Be aware of who you're looking at uh, with channeling. You know, there's good, powerful information in it. Just see where the lie is, because there's 10% lie, 90% truth. And that's going on in the spirit world. If you're talking to spirits, you know, you're talking to somebody that's dead. They didn't know how to live. Yeah, they know the love thing because there is no hate out there. There is no drama. There is no experience of that hate thing. So, yeah, the spirit world will tell you. And, yes, there's spirits all over. You know the ET phenomenon? <laughs> That's the spirits. You know, everybody that died, well, they're still all here. 
you know, just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not there. You know, and are they trying to push their ideas and concepts on us, you know, from a spiritual world? Yeah, they're doing the same thing in this reality as they are in that reality, which means we all haven't ascended yet. So, you know, we are all fucked up. That's why there still is this war in that spiritual world or in that universal world. There is, like, the good guys and the bad guys. Yeah, there are good spirits and bad spirits out there because they haven't ascended yet. You know, the whole game is to figure it out while you're human. <laughs> and don't let those spirits fool you. The good ones are the bad ones. They all fucking died. They didn't know how to live. Peace out. <laughs>